Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my pregnancy hacks with you guys. Some of these are pretty unconventional, so I think you're gonna enjoy watching whether you're pregnant or not. Let's get into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. At this point in my pregnancy, my baby has memory and it definitely recognizes my voice as well as Alex's voice. I've read so many stories where babies actually talk about being in the womb. They're like two or three years old and they totally remember it. So pick a song for your baby and play it while it's still in your tummy. And then once it's born, if it's ever needing some soothing, you can play that for really warm, fuzzy memories of being in the womb. One of the coolest feelings about being pregnant is feeling that big baby inside your stomach, but it definitely is a little bit uncomfortable sometimes. So I'm gonna use some KT tape. This is an amazing hack for feeling a little bit more weightless. I'm gonna support underneath my stomach as well as over top, and then just kind of around the hip area, which is going to make me feel a lot more secure. And it just kind of provides an uplifting support for the stomach. So I'm preparing for birth at home, but I'm also preparing my body for birth at home because I know that I don't want to tear during this birth. And one of the things that you can do to prevent that is using moisturizing products on your vaginal area. So I'm using aloe vera gel, and this is going to keep the skin moisturized, which has been proven to keep the skin from tearing. I'm also drinking a pregnancy tea, which is awesome because it's got red raspberry leaf and nettle. These two ingredients have been proven to improve uterine contractions during labor, so basically it gives you a more efficient uterus so that you can have a faster and easier labor. The most common recommendation in all articles you read about pregnancy is to prevent stretch marks using oils or creams or lotions. Now I'm going to talk about skin and how these products work on the skin. There's so much more to be said than just using a cocoa butter and calling it a day. So we're going to use blue as the representation of skincare. This first example, a petroleum based product, something like Vaseline. And a lot of people think that this is moisturizing just because it's thick, when in fact that's not the case. In order to prevent stretch marks, you need the product to dive into the cells so that it can nourish them so that they can stretch without creating breakage. Most thick moisturizers won't dive into the skin cells no matter how much you pile them on. They will just stay on top of the skin, so they are completely useless. Let's dedicate this next example to creams and lotions you find at the drugstore. Now there's tons of marketing behind these products because they know women are looking to prevent stretch marks. They trust that women will take them for their word when they say it's intensely moisturizing, implying that it's going to prevent stretch marks when in fact, these products they do absorb into the skin but they go around the skin cells. That's not going to prevent stretch marks but the bigger problem is the ingredients in these products. Although we know carcinogenic products cause cancer, we still are allowed to put them in cosmetics and skincare, and that's what these guys are filled with. Yuck. This next example is for vitamin serums and oils. Now these are incredible because they go right into the skin cells as you can see, which is what's going to prevent stretch marks for you. A lot of people recommend natural oils, which is great because they are all awesome. However, some of them really take a long time to get into the skin. These are the ones that leave your skin feeling really oily even like an hour after you've applied them. So while a lot of people recommend coconut oil, it's actually got a really slow absorbency rate. So I recommend using something like camellia seed, rosehip oil, or even vitamin C serum and E oil. These are amazing and I pile all three of them on every single day. So this is what your stomach would look like before pregnancy. And during pregnancy, these abdominal muscles, they rip and stretch apart, which is completely normal and natural and it usually heals perfectly fine. But when you use your abdominal muscles during pregnancy, it can actually rip the abdominals apart, which is going to create diastasis recti. Now this deserves its own video because there's a lot to be said, but basically this is where your organs peek through the abdominal wall. This definitely took getting used to, but now when I get up, I roll onto my side and I use my arms to lift myself up. The trick to keeping your abs tight after pregnancy is to actually not use them during pregnancy so don't do any exercises that involve your abs either so just about as soon as you give birth you're gonna need nursing attire and nursing tops are actually really expensive they're usually like $65 and up so I wanted to show you how to make your own DIY nursing top all you need is one good nursing bra that you love then any tank top you can convert into a nursing tank Cut off all the straps, but leave two inches on each of them so that you can create loops and use some fabric glue to glue them together. Now this tank top is going to be completely convertible, so I don't always have to use it with this bra, but when I want to use it, I can just take the straps, loop it through, and then I use it as a nursing tank. So I hope you guys like those hacks. If you guys want to see a part two, or if you want to see more on the stretch mark thing, because I'm really passionate about that and there's so much to be said, let me know by leaving a thumbs up in this video and comment below what you want to see next. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.